Hello everyone and welcome to Sunless Sea, a new game I'm trying out this month. Uh, I don't know a lot about it. I, I've heard some things, but I don't, I don't know that much. Uh, but we're, what do you mean? I don't have a game. So, new game. Yeah, I'm sure. Uh, so we're gonna just, uh, we're gonna, we're gonna see how this goes. We're, yup. I don't, I don't know exactly what I'm getting myself into with this one, but it'll be fun, I hope. It'll be fun, I hope. Okay. This is a lot of information, I think. <clears throat> okay. Captain's making. Three decades ago, in the reign of Victoria, London was stolen by bats. Now it lies a mile below the surface. Oh yeah, isn't this in the same world as Fallen London? I think this is in the same world as Fallen London. It was dreadfully inconvenient for everyone. But it opened a vast black ocean to you. Welcome to the Untersee. Past wreathed in shadows. Decide later. If you just want to go out to Z immediately, choose this. Opportunities to revisit your past will arrive later. No. I want to customize. Choose your past. Decide who you want to be. Uh... This one, because I don't have a choice. Who were you? Now you're a captain, but... No, you're a captain. Now you belong to the Untersee. But who were you before? An ordained priest? A natural philosopher? Veteran of the campaigns of 68? A poet or a street urge urchin? Let's do a poet. Uh, mostly because I have no idea what any of these are really going to get me into. So poetry. A wise soul. Experience. You have intuition. And your friend, the Sky Navigator. He's a little vague, but he probably knows what he's doing. Perhaps you can find someone better eventually. Talk to the Navigator and find out why he went to C... Why he went to Z... Um... Okay, continue. Choose an ambition. What does winning mean to you? Hmm... Let's go with fulfillment. Wish fulfillment. Cool. A last scrap of paperwork. An irregularity with the harbor master's office. They wish to know, what term of address do you prefer ashore? This will determine what people call your captain, but your captain's gender is up to you. Madam. My lord. My lady. Captain. Citizen. Sir. Hmm. My lady. Let's be. Let's be. Mischief. A pleasure to welcome you on board, my lady. A last piece of advice. Explore. Take chances. This captain will probably die. The Z is hungry. But each captain passes on lessons to the next. Continue. Choose my appearance. I could have a cool hat. Um, there's a lot of silly little faces and silhouettes. I think I want to have a cool hat because it caught my eye immediately. Choose my name. They're going to call me my lady, but I am Lady Twinleaf, like I am in, um, hang on, is there, yeah, like I am in, uh, I can type like I am in uh, Darkest Dungeon. Yes. Fallen London. Deep, dark, and marvelous. Is that a ferret? I have a comatose ferret mascot. That's so cute. Deep, dark, and marvelous. All voyages start here. This is where successful voyages end. Advice for captains. Oh, that's a lot of lore. I don't want to read lore. No. London. Adopt a guy. Visit a university. Um. Carouse. Hire more crews. Put your ship. Offer passage to a tomb colonist. A new recruit. 
Let's adopt a little guy. A Blemigan sits atop a splintered crate, clicking and whistling at captains as they come near. A polite bow. You extend your hand, and the Blemigan leaps on. Its tendrils entwine with your fingers, and it chitters quietly. It meets your gaze and bobs its dome in greeting. It's very small. Is it old enough for naval service? You're pretty sure its mustache has been drawn on in pen, in an attempt to look older. As you approach your ship's gangplank, the creature flutes and vibrates with apparent happiness. The bosun winces as you bring it aboard. Continue. My lodgings. I can read the morning papers. Or I can go back to the rest of the city. Let's read the morning papers. The Unexpurgated Gazette, the magazine formerly known as the London Magazine, the spiteful trumpeter, News. The Echo Bazaar, that enigmatic marketplace, has increased its tax on love stories. The traitor empress has forbidden singing in the street outside her palace. The anarchists of the Calendar Council have inexplicably dynamited a drinking fountain. The Ministry of Public Decency has located and destroyed a nest of gallblighter wasps. Cool. Um... Advice for Captain... I still don't want advice. A passenger. Someone on in the docks wants to board your ships. Agree to carry the Gnomic Gallivant to the Kumean Canal, or the Iron and Misery fung Funging Station, or both. History is a horse. Who will prick it with their spurs? He cries and abs to no one in particular. A drop of blood may be as precious as a ruby. All right, sure. Come with me. Welcome aboard. He puffs out his chest. Ruby studs gleam in the lamplight. I knew London had enterprising souls still left in it. I am seeking truths, milady, which, I am told, I may find in the Iron and Misery Funging Station and the Cumaean Canal. Ideally, I'd learn both, but I could settle for one. For at Port Cecil there will be a contest, and we will change the world with a game of chess. A king will fall. Cool. Can I do anything else in London? Uh, visit the Admiralty's office. I don't know anything that I can teach them. Oh, wait. Uh, the Admiralty's picket fleets are and intelligence networks are long gone. The survey office pays Z captains a small sum for recent information. Ask if there's anything in particular they need. Speak this port. Speak to our agent there and return. We'll see that you're rewarded. Visit the port below and return to London. You can check the details. Uh, I gotta go to the... In I can go to the in Iron Misery Fun Company Funging Station. I'm good at that one. Cool. Bye-bye. Continue. We could hire on more crew for a challenge. We could offer passage to a tomb colonist. Let's hire more crew. Sensible sailors are looking for a safe run to the tomb colonies, or at least a sane run to the southern archipelago. You'll need to buy drinks, spread around hiring fees, look for daredevils. Rich pickings. I lost 30 echo and gained 2 crew, so now I have 10 crew. Cool. Let's offer passage to a tomb colonist. An emigrant will pay to be taken north to Venderbite. It's oddly difficult to die and fall in London, but when a Londoner is too tatty and wretched to live, they wrap themselves in bandages and take ship for the tomb colonies. Your crew cart these ones aboard in padded coffins. They'll sleep there until the journey is done. Alright. Cool. What do I need to do to visit the university? I need more secrets. I need secrets. Whatever. We're gonna go to, to sea. We're gonna launch. Click the launch button to leave port. All right, we're launching. I got a little boat. Oh, I gotta use, I gotta waz. I didn't realize I was actually steering. Fallen London is almost entirely text-based, so I just assumed it was. Right click to speak to officer. Speak to, pay attention, play with your ferret. We gotta play with my ferret. A weary roll of the eye. Play, that eye roll says. Play, I played once in the happy warrens of London, before you installed me in this floating coffin and made me eat dried food. Damn your play. It is an eloquent eye roll. All right, fine.
off to see. I should uh, maybe look at a, a chart. I don't know where anything is, so never mind. We'll just figure it out. We're looking for... Something. There's Hunter's Keep. I didn't pay attention to where I'm supposed to be going. I think something was supposed to be north. I'm looking for the... That's a guy. That's a... That's a guy. Oh, that's a pirate's. Come at me, pirates. I'm bad at shooting. Ow. Ha ha, you missed. I have destroyed a pirate steam pinnace. The ship is yours. What will you do with her? Loot and scuttle her. She's an old, vile old vessel, and the Z's aren't safe. Take what you can and move on. Oh. I got a cache of curiosities. A stout crate. Sure. We got two new fuels. Alright, we'll take it. All clear. Is this band of vetter? I don't know where I'm supposed to be going. I guess I'm just going. I'm looking for the. Um, not any of these. Vendor bite! That was one of the places I was looking for. Let's go there. How do I go there? Is that the dock? That looks dockish. Let's go dock. Doc. The trouble with tomb colonists. You brought this de decaying immigrant north. Now what? The new, the new tomb colonist surveys Venderbite, shaking her head. It won't do, she says. It won't do at all. The new. Mm -hmm. I had no idea. I had no idea the place would be quite so unproposing. Perhaps we can liven it up a little yet. If only I knew a helpful Z captain. Bring ten units of mushroom wine to Venderbite, and perhaps they'll have something for you. Okay. The tomb colony of Venderbite. On deck, you can hear the sound of that a thousand. The, you can hear the sound that a thousand bandaged dead make as they shuffle and cough. It's something like the world's most restless concert audience, or the world's most plague-ridden cathedral. Let's see, we can... Let's gather some gossip. Along the coast of the undersea, it's remarkably hard to die. The decrepit and nearly dead who leave London become tomb colonists to settle here in bandaged peace. But they don't give up their ties to home or their politics. You gather a haul of complex clues, enough to keep your contacts in London interested. Continue. Uh, what else can we do here? We can also visit the first curator. Z captains, the first curator gives audience. The first curator is responsible for the preservation of the tomb colonies. It has been here much longer than London, like all the oldest tomb colonists. But even tomb colonists dissolve in the end. Its time is close. 
No more light, the obsequious steward cautions you. The curator is deathly afra- is terribly afraid of moths. He opens the door, and you step into near darkness. A pair of luminous lamplighter bees buzz in a latticed ivory tube. There is no other source of light. A bandaged shape no larger than a child lies crumpled on a couch. It lifts its head with obvious effort. It takes several seconds for you to distinguish its voice from the soft buzz of bees. Listen to a whispered request. See, Captain, silk skin, not much left of me. I will go into the grand sanatorium. Bring me colors, seven colors. Pay well. Seven colors? Cosmogon, Irigo, Pelagin, Stuart has list. Find them here there, across the wide black Z. Ask about the Grand Sanatorium. One hears the name whispered here and there in the arcades of Enderbite. A long, low chuckling. Oh, silk skin, you don't want to know. The chuckling becomes a cough. We don't die here below. Not unless we go to Z. So we needed something else. Somewhere to end. <clears throat> Accept the commission. Thank you. This poor flesh thirsts for colors. No more words. It collapses, rustling back onto the couch. Even the effort of speaking seems to have diminished it a little. The audience is over. As the door opens, it shrinks from the finger of light that reaches across the floor. Outside, the obsequious steward nods. The book? Yes, the book. He hands you a slim, illustrated volume. The curator is old, old as dust. We will all be grateful if you do it this one last favor. All right, we need a bunch of colors. Explore Vanderbite. Here, they favor the candlelight over gaslight. The shadows are swagged like cobwebs. The tomb colon is stand still enough to be mistaken for sculpture until they laugh or cough. One building in three seems abandoned. The lamplighter's arcade. Here they sell the copper jewelry, grimacing little faces and squat rectilinear figures. A tradition from before London, they claim. You part with a few small coins for a cheery-looking thing with an expression like a tipsy bat. Perhaps it will bring you good dreams. Cool, we lost a terror. Um. Alright, launch. I'm pressing the wrong buttons. I wish our map was more complete. What's this little triangle in the water? Oh, I can't. Alright, fair enough. Pickett's Bluff. That's still not the thing I needed. I'm not going too far out to sea yet because the, the mission said it was supposed to be close. So I'm trying to stay near the coast for now. Because I don't know any better. What is that? What's that? Oh, I don't like that. No, I think we should run away. I think shooting this is a bad idea. Okay. Yep. Get out of here. We're about to die. Don't get me, Lifeberg. Please, I'm so slow. Why am I going this way? I'm not trying to go this way. I'm just trying to get a way.
I don't think this is a place where I can dock, dang it. Oh, are they hurting me? Oh, they're hurting me. Shouldn't have gone near the bats. I shipwrecked. No, I found shipwrecked. Okay. Well. No, my ship founders. There are screams, a flood of dark water, an unforgettable sound of a ship's spine breaking. Ah. Slip beneath the waves. Perhaps you'll be remembered in song. I didn't have an ironclad will. Well, I'm going to end this episode off here. Hopefully next one we will uh, live. Bye-bye. <laughs>